I'm Brian Lindner. I'm the corporate historian here at National Life Group, and today we're going to take a 360 degree tour of the Montpelier campus. And you can follow on your phone, or use your mouse, uh, or your keyboard, and take a 360 degree view as we take this tour. We're in the main lobby now of the Montpelier campus, and this building was first occupied in 1960. Now some of the best granite in the world and some of the best marble in the world comes from right here in Vermont. However, on the floor of our lobby, you're walking on Tennessee marble. This is not a Vermont company, this is not an East Coast company, this is national life. The uprights is Minnesota granite. This is not a Vermont company, this is a national company. And etched in stone are the values that we live by. And every visitor to the home office here sees this as they enter the building. Do good, be good, and make good. The values that we live by every day. Here in a position of honor on executive row at National Life is an oil portrait that we commissioned many years ago of policy owner number one. This is Daniel Baldwin, the first person we ever insured. Not only do we have his policy in the archives, we actually have his original application also. And we love to have this out on display. Now, his policy was actually issued on January 17, 1850, the first one issued, and it was issued as best as we can tell on this desk right here. This is the very first desk the company ever owned. We purchased it used, and we still have it in our collection. Traditionally at National Life, when a CEO retires, we commission their oil portrait. And here on Executive Row, when you look around, you don't see many oil portraits. That's because since 1848, we've only had 16 CEOs. And I say it's a huge strength of the company because these folks come, they stay forever, and they get to know the employees. More importantly, they get to know our field force on a first name basis. It's a huge strength of the company. And having said that, let's go in and take a look at Moran's office. You're seated at the desk of Moran Asadi, the president, CEO, and chairman of the board at National Life. And when we come in here on tours, I like to come over to the south wall here of the main building and the Vermont campus because encased in the footings of this wall is soil, ceremonial soil from all 50 states. And in 1957, the Vermont governor, Governor Johnson, poured that ceremonial soil into the footings of this building to emphasize again this is a national company and for example the soil from texas was dug up from inside the alamo here in the national life boardroom in a position of honor is this oil portrait of dr julius dewey he was a, truly our first uh, ceo for the company and in 1850 he wrote the annual report and he spent 32 pages talking about how he expected this company would always pay claims on time, always deliver on promises, invest only in conservative investments, and his vision is what we've always lived by. And in fact, starting in 1855, we have paid dividends every single year, and that's through World War I, World War II, the Great Depression, a 1918 epidemic, and a whole series of financial crises. We're standing on the roof of the main building and we're looking out over the city of Montpelier, Vermont, the smallest state capital in the United States. To the left of the Capitol Dome, you can see the very top of home office number six, our last home office. Five of the seven home offices are still standing. They were all down there in the city. And when you look off into the far distance, you can see Camel's Hump Mountain. That's Vermont's fourth highest peak. But then as you come back towards us, you can see a cemetery on the next hillside over. In that cemetery is the grave of policy owner number one, Daniel Baldwin, the first person that we ever insured, is buried within sight of the home office. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour and thank you for joining us.